Hello again. Now the ITV News in London. A 15-year-old boy is in hospital with life-threatening injuries after being stabbed in North London yesterday afternoon. Police were called to reports of a fight in Wood Green just after 3 o'clock where a teenage boy was found with stab wounds and taken to hospital. Another man, aged 18, was also injured. Police are appealing for witnesses. A second public toilet has been shut in the West End after a man died whilst working on one of them yesterday afternoon. Emergency services were called to reports of a trapped maintenance worker in one of the devices, which are stored underground and raised to street level at night. Firefighters used a winch to release the man, but he was pronounced dead at the scene in Shaftesbury Avenue. Police are concerned about the welfare of a missing man from Notting Hill. Nathan Cole was last in contact with his family last weekend in Wandsworth. Detectives found CCTV footage of the 32-year-old in a local shop last Saturday night and are asking for anyone with information around his disappearance to contact the police. A charity that supports young people with cancer say they need more help to keep going. Young Lives Versus Cancer have been helping families for almost 20 years. Today, the family and friends of one young boy who died last year held a 13-mile walk in his memory, all the while raising vital funds. Anna Geary went along. Three, two, one. Thousands of walkers set off from the Oval this morning, all braving the cold, some for 26 miles, others for 13. Passing some of London's landmarks, marching for a charity of their choice, including Young Lives Versus Cancer. The charity provides emotional, practical and financial support to young people with cancer and their families. So a lot of the money will be used to support them financially so they can travel to take their child to hospital for treatment, hospital parking and those kind of things. Last year, the charity supported 6,100 young people with cancer in the UK, giving out grants to the tune of £966,000. It found that on average, families spend £730 extra per month following a diagnosis. But to help those struggling, the charity relies on public philanthropy which has fallen with the soaring cost of living. Uh, unfortunately, when times are hard, charity donations tend to be the one thing that people have to cut back on. Um, so, yeah, we are finding that. But fundraisers like this are helping. The charity had support from 44 people walking in memory of George Hughes. He died last August. George passed away following complex surgery associated with having transplants. His loved ones were marching in solidarity with other families trying to navigate life with poorly young people. George was a 15-year-old lad who had a difficult life but always rose to the challenges and he was dearly loved. Those that knew him pledged to continue raising money to help charities through this cost of living crisis and so that George's legacy lives on. Anna Geary, ITV News. Staff at the British Museum will walk out during the half-term break as a dispute over jobs, pay and pensions continues. More than 100 members of the museum's visitor services and security teams will go on strike for seven days from the 13th of February as members of the PCS union demand better conditions. Let's take a look at the sport now. Zero Accounting Software. Sponsors ITV Regional Sports Report. In the Championship, QPR have lost 3-0 to Hull City and Middlesbrough played host to Watford at the Riverside, finishing with a 2-0 victory. In the Rugby Premiership, it was a triumph for Saracens, who beat Bristol 20 points to 19. And Dina Asher-Smith has set a new British record. The Orpington runner won the women's 60-metre race at the World Indoor Tour in Germany yesterday, clocking a time of just over seven seconds. Here's the weather now with Chris Page. Feels like home, whatever the weather. Valent Boilers and Heat Pumps. Sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather.
Hello there. Very good evening to you. Yes, there has been quite a lot of extensive cloud amounts across the capital through today. Some of that cloud has been thick enough in a few areas to produce light outbreaks of rain too. There have been the odd gap in the cloud here and there, but as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, we still have high pressure with us. There'll be some breaks developing through tomorrow, but then we see this northwesterly flow kicking in as we start the new working week. The wind's strengthening for a time as well. And actually, though, a breezy week ahead to come, but it does mean for all of us temperatures will be around about average or just above. So back to the here and now, we do have quite a lot of cloud cover to contend with through the rest of this evening and overnight. A very weak front just sinking its way southwards, just introducing some light rain and drizzle for a time by dawn tomorrow morning. But with that extensive cloud cover overnight tonight, temperatures should hold up up around three to four degrees. It means that we start Sunday then frost free for all of us. There'll be some light rain through the morning as the back end of that frontal system just clears its way southwards. Things turn a little brighter through the afternoon as well, but we said those winds starting to strengthen, so a bit breezier through the afternoon coming in from a southwesterly direction, which of course is mild, and it means that temperatures tomorrow seven to nine degrees Celsius above where they should be for the time of year. Now by Monday, we do have a little ridge of high pressure once again, so the winds will ease down for a time on Monday, but you can see the next system waiting in the wings, which will push its way across the country as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday too. So the week ahead looks to be fairly windy and breezy at times. There'll be some sunny spells, a lot of dry weather to contend with, with just the odd light shower around at times. That's it from me. Bye-bye. Bailant sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. That's all for now. Goodbye. <laughs>